welcome back to lesson 9.2 uh, we're having the continuation of the derivative of trigonometric functions and we're down to the last two of this uh, part here we have d13 and d14 we have the secant and the cosecant functions okay so the derivative of the second function we have secant of u uh, the second derivative of secant of u is just second u tangent u times the derivative of u with respect to x so again the pattern here is we have second u we have second tangent okay uh, let's have an example so let's say we have second of 4x plus 3 so again we'll write first the second just copy the second to give it itself then for the tangent uh, we have the tangent and the function u or the inner function here and then we get the derivative of u okay so we have second tangent then the u and then we get the derivative of u which is 4 derivative of 4x plus 2 is 4 and then we rearrange so we have 4 second of 4x plus 3 times tangent of 4x plus 3 okay so take note you don't need to simplify further because you cannot simplify this okay uh it's just let it be second tangent okay and then we have the counterpart which is the cosecant u so the derivative of cosecant u is the negative of cosecant u cotangent u du dx so take note if the given is cosecant we have cosecant cotangent but again we have the negative side so if you try to recall the previous uh, derivatives we have negative values for cosine cotangent and cosecant okay so the, the derivative is negative so uh, let's have an example if we have cosecant of 4x plus 3 so we just copy cosecant 4x plus 3 and then of course we have the negative here because it's cosecant and then we have cotangent based on the formula and then the derivative of 4x plus 3 which is 4 okay and then rearrange so we have negative 4 cosecant of 4x plus 3 cotangent of 4x plus 3 let's have now the proof let's start with second x okay so for the proof we're going to use the reciprocal identity of second x which is 1 over cos x okay so the reason why we're going to use this uh, it's because we already know the derivative of cos x and we're going to use that idea here so we can apply quotient rule by the way you can either use quotient rule or power rule also here as a proof but I'll be using quotient rule for this scenario so we have again this is u and this is v so our v is cos x our u is 1 so we have cos x then the derivative of 1 minus 1 times the derivative of cos x all over cos squared x and uh, we know that the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of cos x is negative sine x okay and if we try to solve further so cos x times 0 is just 0 negative 1 times negative sine x is positive sine x and we have sine x all over cos squared x and then if we continue we have uh, 1 over cos x so actually we can separate this one we have sine x cos x times cos x that's why we can have 1 over cos x times sine x over cos x here okay and remember uh, using our identities we have 1 over cos x being second x and our sine x over cos x being tangent of x and if we generalize this we have the derivative of second u equals second u tangent u times the derivative of u with respect to x and this is the proof of 
second X the derivative of second X okay and let's have the proof for cos second X okay so in similar fashion we're going to use the uh, reciprocal identity of cos second X which is 1 over sine X and here we can apply the quotient rule this will give us sine X and then the derivative of the numerator which is 1 minus 1 times the derivative of the denominator which is sine x all over sine squared x and we know that the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of sine x is positive cos x and of course sine x times 0 is 0 and we have negative cos x so negative i just put the negative here uh, or simplification and of course we can rewrite this as um, negative here. So sine x times sine x okay so we can separate uh, sine x or all over sine x and that becomes 1 over sine x times cos x all over sine x and we know that 1 over sine x is cos second x course the negative is still there cos x over cosine x is cotangent x so if we generalize we have now the 14th differentiation rule we have cos second u the derivative of cos second u is negative cos second u cotangent u du dx so in the next video we're going to have now the Derivative of exponential and logarithmic functions. See you there.